Hello everyone and welcome to 5th North. I am Demir and today we're talking about the Peter McKinnon uh, Nomadic Photography Backpack. So as you might recall in one of my previous videos, I talked about the five things that I think all beginner photographers should invest in. And one of the things on that list was a photography backpack. Um, I'll go ahead and link that video up top so you guys can look at it if you haven't checked it out already. Um, but with that being said, um, I did look for a backpack to invest in when I first started out. Like I mentioned in that video, it's an important piece. And um, I couldn't quite find what I was looking for. I actually ended up going through about five different backpacks and every single one of them got about 75 to 80% there. So not bad, they did a lot of the stuff that I needed, but not quite exactly what I was looking for, right? They were always missing something. Um, some of the bags were too small, some were too big. Um, a lot of them were too deep. So for example, if you're shooting on like a, like a Canon 1DX or with a, a camera that has a, a big body and a battery grip, you're talking about a tall camera, you need a deep bag, right? But if you're a person like me who's shooting on a mirrorless camera, you don't need that deep of a bag. And so if it is that deep of a bag, your stuff tends to kind of shuffle and move and it's a lot of wasted space. So I was looking for that perfect depth, but also a big bag that I can fit all of my gear into um, when traveling, plus clothing and, and other things that you need when you travel, obviously. So like I said, a lot of the bags got 70, 80% there, but not, not quite what I was looking for. So um, in the picture comes this bag and it's designed by Peter McKinnon, who most of you I'm sure know if you're following my channel, obviously being a photography channel, but if you don't, um, he's probably one of the uh, most well-known photographers on YouTube, and in my opinion, a great photographer, a person that I admire and follow. Um, and then the other person or company in this partnership is Nomadic. Um, if you don't know them, they're a company that makes uh, backpacks, uh, travel bags, carry-ons, travel accessories, luggage, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they're actually really good at it. And they, they, they always add um, different little innovative features to make the bags really that much better in my opinion. So a great partnership of a person who knows what they're doing when it comes to photography and a person or a company who knows what they're doing when it comes to luggage. You put the two together and, and you've got this bag. So it's a great place to start in my opinion. Um, but I was really excited to see what the bag was actually like once I got it. So with that being said, I'm gonna do a little bit of a review today. It's gonna be a, a roughly a six week review of having the bag. Um, and it's also going to be an unboxing because I did film when I first, you know, unboxed the bag. Um, but it's not going to go into too much detail because I do plan to do two other reviews. Um, one's going to be not necessarily a review, but more of like a what's in my camera bag. But the byproduct of that is you'll get to see a lot of the internals of the bag and how stuff fits and how stuff works. And then I'll do another video where I talk about my experience of the bag uh, six to 12 months in, you know, depending on COVID and how much I get to travel. Um, it'll be six or 12 months in just to show durability and toughness and all that good stuff. But for today, like I said, unboxing as well as uh, my first initial impressions after about six weeks. Um, so let's go ahead and cut to the, um, to the unboxing footage and uh, take a look. All right, so first of all, the box is uh, pretty neat. Um, you've got a, a whole blackout thing going on with the uh, Peter McKinnon logo and the Nomadic logo on one side. So definitely different looking than your, than your average box. And then you've got the uh, Pete's Pirate Life uh, skull logo on the other side too. So again, pretty cool looking box. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here. Um, you know, I'm gonna do the, uh, the typical Peter McKinnon fashion with the, uh, with the knife. My knife's a little bit more basic than some of the uh, really cool ones that he uses, but hey, it's a knife, it'll get the job done. So uh, take my time here so I don't cut the box or myself since uh, I have done that in the past. Um, go ahead and do that nice and slow, cool. All right, so here's the inside of the box. Once again, you've got the Pete's Pirate Life logo on the bag. So here's the bag itself. And then in the box too, I've got a bunch of accessories. Uh, there was a pretty good deal on doing a bundle pack on Nomadic's website. So I got the backpack plus a bunch of accessories. Um, and we'll, we'll break those down each one by one so you kind of have an idea of what I got and um, what each item does um, as we go through. So yeah, go ahead and empty the box here and then I'll go ahead and put the box to the side. And uh, here's the bag itself. So again, it's got the protective bag on top of it with the skull logo. And then uh, here is the actual bag. Um, really good looking bag, um, nice leather material. Everything looks really high quality, which I like. So I'll kind of do a little spin around for you guys to see. Um, there's the back um, then the sides. Uh, so again, really nice looking backpack. I'm really pleased with the fit and finish just out of the box. I do like how it looks. Um, a lot of compartments, 
So we'll start unzipping to kind of show you everything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unzip the first part, which is gonna be the part where the non-camera stuff goes, or at least that's kind of what it was designed for. I guess it helps when I uh, open up the whole, oh, wrong zipper, okay. Let me open up the whole thing here, okay. So this is the front compartment. Um, I would keep like clothes and stuff like that in here if you're doing a, a travel trip. You've got this nice strap system to compress things. You've got pockets. Um, you can put shoes in there or other accessories. And then you've got these pockets too. Mesh pockets up top and bottom. And then this big hidden compartment inside too. So lots of place for clothes. Um, if you're doing you know travel photography, it's all in there for you. Um, on the back side, pretty cool. You've got your regular backpack straps. Plus you've got the uh, waist belt as well as the uh, across the chest clip which is nice um, so that's really comfortable makes it easier to carry when the bag is fully loaded and heavy um, pretty cool little designs here you've got the uh, p pirate life logo again right in the back and then you've got a pass through if you're trying to put it on a rolling bag um, and again little different adjustments for um, comfort and, and all that good stuff so i'll go ahead and open up the uh, main compartment now this would be the spot where you keep you know, all the camera stuff, um, you know, bodies, lenses, all that good stuff. And it's nicely padded. Everything is, uh, you know, nicely padded, nicely stitched, very uh, good materials. Got some straps here for uh, tripod attachments and stuff like that on the outside of the backpack. Um, I'll set those up later. And then obviously, like I said, the inside's padded. You've got a bunch of different dividers. I'll go through and customize that to make it look good. Um, you've also got this tablet pocket, which is great, or other accessories. And then these two mesh pockets, which are actually designed specifically to hold some of the accessories that I got with the backpack. So um, again, I'll show you what those look like here in a moment, but um, nice that they're built to work together. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and close it up. Um, all the different flaps here. And let's just take a quick look around on the side. You've got the water bottle uh, compartment. Also magnetic, so it doesn't flap around. Um, and then I love the side opening. I used to not really be a side open guy, but I found myself using that a lot, uh, a lot more. So I do appreciate the fact that the backpack has it. And then it also has a nice grab handle on the side. So when you do use a side pocket opening, you got something to grab onto. Okay, so here's the accessories. Um, we've got the first one, which is the uh, filter holder. Um, right on the front here, you got a little pocket you can put uh, my microfiber cloths or other cleaning supplies and then you've got the actual filter slots um, nice and rubberized stretch material it's soft it's padded keeps your filter safe and you can actually fit six uh, six filters and then one more pocket on the back for more things so uh, tough case nice and padded it'll keep your filter safe and it's got a nice little handle too so uh, pretty cool there this is the rain cover um, the backpack itself is, is pretty water resistant, but this is kind of like if you get caught in a really big downpour and you need more protection. So this little pouch unravels on itself and then kind of collapses and turns into a full on rain cover. Um, and you just kind of slap it on your, on your backpack and you're good to go. Uh, apparently you've got to be smarter than the average bear to find where the logo is and to find, uh, here we go. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, yeah. So there's the logo. That's what it looks like. If you were to stretch it out on your backpack, that would be what it looks like, so. All right, so another accessory here, we've got the battery case. Um, it's magnetic as well, which is great. Let me get this off of it. Um, it's magnetic as well, which is great. And then you've got uh, three pouches to put batteries into, so you can carry three extra batteries very comfortably. You've got these little stickers that come with it to uh, mark if the batteries are dead or not, which is great. And then again, it's a nice leather material, very well padded, three slots. Um, I'm actually really happy with it. It looks really good and uh, should be quite functional. Um, next, we've got the uh, memory card case, which is also like the leather on the battery case, which is great. Magnetic opening as well. And then you've got the flips here. You've got the first one that holds three SD cards. Uh, on the back side, you get uh, three more SD cards. And then you've got two bigger slots for CF Express um, or other bigger cards. And then lastly, you've got a little pocket, which is great. Uh, the pocket's gonna be great for like your micro SD cards and other little cards that don't fit in the big pockets. So definitely convenient there for like GoPro memory cards and stuff like that. So again, great pouch, magnetic, uh, very nice finish. I do like it. All right, and last but not least, we've got the accessory box. I actually picked up two of these. It's nice and padded. Um, it's just a place to put all the weird stuff, you know, like extra cables, um, wall charger, 
sockets, battery backups, all that kind of stuff fits in here. You've got different dividers to customize it. And again, it's nice and padded, it keeps you very well organized. And it's got this nice little pocket up top too, which keeps things inside this little flap. So um, definitely another nice accessory. And again, it fits in the bag really well overall. So definitely happy with it. All right, so the real question is, is, is it worth the $400? And, and quite frankly, if you think about the 400, plus all the accessories and all the features you can add on to it, like um, the, the memory card case and the filter case, the accessory cube, the, the other cube, there's a lot of different things you can add to it. And you can very quickly get up to about six, 650, so quite a pricey uh, endeavor. Um, in my opinion, a good quality camera bag, or at least a lot of the bags that I've seen, were roughly in the two, 250 range. So this one is a little bit on the higher end, but um, to defend it, if you will, um, the accessories were specifically designed to work with it and they function very well and they all fit within the bag itself, right? They're meant to fit in the pockets and the, the zip compartments, all that good stuff. And a lot of the bags that are in that two to 250 range, they don't come with any of those accessories. So once you factor in going out and spending the time to find accessories that fit, to find accessories that work, that solve all your needs, you're going to be roughly in that four, 450 range anyway. So though this bag is on the more expensive end, it's not as crazy as it might sound initially. Um, the other piece to it is its quality. Uh, so far, just based off of what I'm looking at and what I've touched and, and you know felt as far as materials, it looks like it's a really high quality backpack. Um, and in the six weeks that I've used it, I've had no issues. I've had it in rain, I've had it in dust, I've had it around dirt, and I've had literally zero issues with it. So, um, so far so good. Like I said, we'll see what it does in six months to a year, but so far so good. Um, for me personally, I think it's worth that money. Obviously, we all have our own budget and our own opinions, so you have to decide that for yourself. But for me personally, with the accessories working so well, it holding all my gear and checking every single box that I talked about my previous bags not doing, for me, it's worth that investment. I will also say that I did get a pretty sweet discount um, for buying the accessories in the bag together because Nomadic was having like a bundle sale. Um, so that obviously helps, but um, you know, you still got to debate on if that's if that's right for you or not. Um, there are two things that I will nitpick on the bag that I think could be changed. Are they deal breakers? No. Are they a huge deal? No. But if I'm just being, you know, nitpicky to be nitpicky, um, I don't like the interior color. It's kind of like a weird brown, green, baby formula puke color, um, which I think a nice dark gray or a black would have been the better way to go. Um, not sure why they chose that color, especially because other nomadic uh, backpacks don't have that color in them. So it's kind of a weird decision in my opinion. Um, is it a huge deal? No. Is it a deal breaker? No. But if I'm, if I'm, you know, giving the other side of the fence, if you will, that would be my nitpick. And then the other nitpick that I would have is um, there's not there's not enough dividers, in my opinion, included. Um, I ended up actually buying a second pack of dividers to really customize the bag how I wanted it. Um, might not be an issue for everybody. I think other people might just go, I have there's more than enough in here to make it work. For me personally, I really wanted to divide it up and customize it, and so. I ended up buying that second set. But those are really the only two things I'll nitpick on. Otherwise, um, I've been more than happy with the bag. It's Like I said, it's met all my needs. It's held all my gear. Um, I will say this, when you fully load it up, um, and this is not the bag's fault, this is just the gear's fault, but when you fully load it up, it's really heavy. Um, but to be fair, I do have you know, my mirrorless body, a uh, 12 to 24, a 24 mil, uh, 24, four to 70 and a 70 to 200 all inside one bag, plus batteries, battery backups, two accessory cubes full of like power adapters and things, um, filters, a uh, bunch of cables and other things. So obviously not the bag's fault, but I'm just saying, be careful when you load it up fully, it is pretty heavy and um, you know, you might throw your back out if you're prone to do stuff like that. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up at this point, but the point is, is it, it does get pretty heavy. Um, so for me, because of that, it's my go-to bag, I would say for about 90% of the stuff that I do when I need all my gear, when I'm traveling. Um, but if I know I'm trying to do something super agile and quick, I might just use like a sling that holds one lens and one body. Um, so it's not 100% of the time, but it's pretty darn close with using it about 90% of the time and, and being happy with it. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I do highly recommend it. If you have questions or comments, please put them in the comments below and I can help answer them for you to help you decide if this is the right bag for you or not. 
Um, but for me, it is, and I'm happy to say that I finally settled on one camera bag after having gone through five um, over the years. So anyway, that is my initial opinion. Um, again, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk more about this bag in the future two videos. Um, outside of that, thank you for watching. Have a great night, and as always, peace.